My name is Jeff Miller. I'm with Town & Country Home Mortgage in Portland, Oregon. And if you're watching this video, it's because you have an interest in financing the property on Horner Road in Estacada. Now, I have put together some printed materials that go along with this video. And what uh, would help is to look at the printed materials alongside this video at the same time so you can get a good idea of the numbers that I'm talking about so that you don't get confused. So if you have that paper available, fantastic. If not, refer to it later. But I wanted to talk about three financing options on this property that most people are not going to be aware of because there's so much negative news out in the media today that how difficult it is to get a mortgage loan, especially at these higher purchase prices. But I am here to give you some information that will help it help you to understand how easy it is to finance this property. So the first option is a 30-year fixed mortgage. Now, now this is the traditional mortgage that you would normally see, uh, you know, advertised in the newspaper or advertised on television. But this loan is a little bit different. It's a non-agency loan, which means that isn't a loan that's insured by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. It's offered by a bank who has what's called an in-portfolio investment. So that means that they can um, broaden the qualification standards. They can you know, raise loan amounts, and they can allow uh, qualified buyers to get better loans at the lower interest rates. So this particular loan only requires that you put 10% down, and it also does not require that you have private mortgage insurance. So this is a huge savings in comparison to a conventional loan. The interest rate is slightly higher because it does allow for loan amounts that are above the conforming loan limit of 417000 So the rates are going to range anywhere from 5.75 to 6.5 depending upon where uh, your credit is and what kind of debt ratio uh, you have that, that qualifies you for that loan. So this is an option if you'd like a long-term fixed rate loan for this particular property, but you are um, not you don't have enough money down to get into that conforming loan uh, limit of four hundred and seventeen thousand. The next loan I want to talk about is a five one interest only arm. This also has the same ten percent down requirement and it allows for a lower interest rate, five point zero five. Uh, which it would range from 4.75 to 5.5 depending upon uh, your qualifications. And I would use 5.05 in the printed material uh, as a middle point or a reference for uh, just giving a, a general idea of where someone might stand. But this loan has a five-year fixed period, has five years of interest-only payments. So that means that as you make a payment every month and if you choose to make the interest-only payment, your, your loan balance will not be going down. So you will owe the same amount of money after five years as you do when you borrow the money when you purchase this home. The advantages to this loan are, is that it offers the lowest possible monthly payment. So it makes it easier to qualify. It makes it easier for you to afford as you, potentially you're moving up from a smaller home or maybe you haven't financed this large of a uh, debt before and you need that smaller payment to get used to uh, the, the larger payment on a home this size. So it does give you some flexible options for low amount down and a low monthly payment. Also. The last program I want to talk about is a first and second combo. Now, it is been said that these loans have vanished, but it's not true. The only difference is, is that you can't borrow as much. It used to be 80-20, you'd get 100% financing. But in this case, you are looking at a 65% first loan and a 20% second loan, which combines for an 85% loan to value, which would require a 15% down payment from you. Now, the advantages to this loan is that you can take advantage of a conforming first mortgage, so a $417,000 first mortgage, and then a second mortgage on top of that. Now, the advantage to this is that you can take advantage of the low rates, 4.875 on a 30-year fixed, and a low home equity line of credit rate at 5.75%. Now, the home equity line of credit is adjustable. It's tied to the Wall Street Journal prime rate, and it will adjust as the Wall Street Journal uh, prime rate changes as the economy uh, goes through its peaks and valleys. So there is some risk associated with that loan, but it acts as a line of credit. So you can use it as you pay it down as a large secured uh, credit line against the property. So if you foresee uh, you know, lump sums of cash coming into your uh, financial situation in the near future, you can apply it to that home equity line of credit, and then you can spend that with the tax deductible features of a home equity line of credit. So it's a very flexible loan. It offers that, that mid-range type payment where you get the fixed rate option on your first mortgage and you have the flexibility of your home equity line of credit on your second. So these are three options that you can use to finance this property that will uh, give you, you know, low down, low payment, low down, fixed rates, 
and a medium sized down payment with the convenience of a fixed rate on the first mortgage or and the adjusting second rate for line of credit uh, with the, giving you some financial flexibility. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a perspective of what, what you can do. I would encourage you to click around the website, check out the property some more, and also if you have questions, you can email me or email Gabby and either one of us will get back to you with financial questions you have about financing this house. Thank you very much.